He got him good. <laughs> All right, so we've had Panda in the crowd for about a week now, and we think it's good enough time to let her out, but we're going to give her... So we did the albendazole and the ivermec, and I think she's looking better as far as her coat goes. She's still underweight, obviously, but we've been giving her the cubes, and she seems like she's really liking those cubes, so it may be easier to catch her in the future if we need to. And what we're going to do is give her some Fembendazole now and turn her out. We did bring her cab in here, what, two days in when yeah. she bagged up really good and we didn't want her to dry off. And she was just bawling all day, so. So we brought her cab in two days in, but we really wanted her to kind of slow down on the cab, but she was stressed out so much. So we just decided to go ahead and bring her back in. But. I think she's going to recover pretty good. I just put out a round bell for all the cows, and hopefully we get some rain this next coming weekend. Hopefully. You're hoping a lot. And uh, <laughs> if so, we're going to have good pasture for them. If not, we'll just keep feeding hay because we don't have that many acres. But anyways, oh, and, and the bull calf, he's doing really good. We elected, he was a little swollen in his sack. So we decided to give him a high dose of penicillin and uh, what's the other one? Well, I gave him Dexamethasone, a well, steroid. Yeah, and I gave him LA300 before that, but we did that and we're... And then a high dose of penicillin, but we're about to turn him out. He's been kind of being watched because the his left side, when we castrated him, bled. His right side did really well, had like basically no bleeding out of it. And his left side, not so much. So because of that, we put that band on, and I don't know if the the band for I mean what 45 minutes. Uh, or hour. well, we gave him. I don't K1. know if that I don't know if that band kind of caused uh, some of that swelling or if it was infection, but we just wanted to be sure. Well, we He's gave him that long... K1 too. We could have had some clotting up in there, some blood clotting in there. So, but we just elected to go ahead and hit him with the steroids and antibiotics. He's a long ways away from butcher. So these things will be long gone before he's ever eaten. Um, so anyways, let's get to it. We're going to get her the warmer and turn her out. Oh, I'd kind of like to catch her calf too and warm her because she kind of seems to have her coat almost seems like she could be wormy. We'll have she plenty probably of follow her mom in there. But I bet the wormer should be going through the milk, shouldn't it? I don't know. I'd have to look that up. Well, there's a withdrawal on milk. So. There is withdrawal milk. So I'm assuming the calf, I'm not going to worm the calf. I'm I'm going to go ahead and assume right now that it's going through the milk. And we'll do some research. And if that's not the case, then we'll probably catch both the calves and get them wormed. So anyways, let's get to it. Like her foot touched. Alright, so she's very wise to working pins and stuff and she don't like them. So hopefully this is the last time we have to do this for a while. She's probably, I'm gonna guess she's probably down there around 750 pounds so I'm just gonna dose her. We, do, we, we kind of over did the warmer on the Ivermec and the albendazole, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and dose her right where she needs to be. That way I can, I got one goat that we need to do. 
Oh, Clarabelle's back. Being all nosy. All the cows. <laughs> Get over here and look at her teeth. I, I'm not an expert on aging cattle, but what I would like is, she was told to us that she was six, which would make her somewhere between seven and eight right now to us, right? No, we haven't had her that long. We had her a year. Oh yeah, because we bred her last. Well, so that would better. make her between seven and eight right. if she were six. I want to show you guys her teeth and if you know how to age cattle, please let us know how old she is because I'm kind of thinking the cell barn may or may not have intentionally tagged her with a younger age because that's kind of the type of cell barn that we got her at. Easy girl. Easy. See if you can. Open your mouth. <laughs> she don't want to open her mouth. There you go. Can you see him? Yep. That don't look that bad to me. One, two, three. If I were if I were guessing, they're probably about right. They ain't broken. Maybe a little bit short. Huh? Four. Mm-hmm. Good girl. All right. It's like she 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 finally gave up just opening her mouth like it was sticker like saying <laughs> aw like she was at the end. Hey, you did good. Poor girl. You did good. She's tired of being messed with. Some cube mm -hmm. in my hand while she's in here. We're trying to get her tame. We don't have very many cattle. If we were a big ranch, we would just get what we need done, kick them out of the chute, and we wouldn't think twice about it because if you had 200 head or 2,000 head to work, you can't have every, ta every cow hand feedable. But we only got so many. Keeping them tame really helps. Wolverine, get the pigs out of here. Wolverine, get the pigs out. Go. Bailey, get. Go. Get him, Wolverine. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Right, not quite there yet. She's still nervous. We're going to get her turned out and get this other one taken care of. <laughs> she made sure to go that time. Cow's got to check her out, make sure she's good every time. She slammed the door open so, so hard. Whoops. All right, I'm going to go get Augie. It's getting dark. He's starting to figure it out. Yeah, he knows what's going on. He's like... I should walk for it, dude. <laughs> you could step forward, I wouldn't have to keep your jaw on there. All right. I'm gonna let Dakota do this this time because. What's the? Can this all go in one yeah. injection? Yeah. Yeah. Ten mil per site. Intramuscular. Or? Intramuscular, and these are really long needles, so I don't suggest going all the way in. I've got to order more syringes and needles, but he does not like shots. He, I've had. Um, I was supposed to give him an extra 10 the other day. Well, I need a new needle. 
That's why we have an extra, but you're gonna have to do it right this time. That's it. He's being a baby. Pure baby. I told you, I had a smaller needle the very first time I stuck him too. And then he threw it, so I couldn't, I had to get bigger needles. He needs some, uh... Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. So it's administered. This guy, if you go back and watch the castration, let me twist and pull his testicles off and barely kicks. But by God, you go give him a shot of penicillin or steroid, <laughs> and it is absolutely the end of the world. He's literally kicked me standing right here kicked me in the stomach through the chute so i guess i need to probably go ahead and build me a squeeze for feature for this the chute actually works pretty good the head gate's really good it just needs to be able to push them all to one side squeeze them essentially so that they can't kick and uh and i think this chute would be useful i have another one at the house i need to do some videos on but anyways See, I had to make him do this to get him to get the squeeze chute going because that sucker, I did this alone the other day and got, hey, I'm... I don't know how many times I stuck him, like nine times, but I had to give him four shots. He busted open one of the syringes and I completely missed the penicillin on one, but he got, he got 20 out of 30 mils. But uh, yeah, he smashed the crud out of my finger and he thought I was joking. So... <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, we've done thousand pound cows and give them, them shots and stuff, and they, and they, don't they just flinch. they flinch like it's a horse fly. Yeah, if that, I mean, not not even all. Some of them don't even notice we stick them. So, but anyways, yeah, it's all taken care of. He's actually, we we weren't even going to give him this round of medicine, but better safe than sorry because we're honestly probably not going to pay much attention to him for the next week or so. So we figured just go ahead and give it to him. Yeah. But the selling the swelling has significantly oh, it, it, decreased. When you when you castrate them this large their 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 sacks are gonna stay fairly large yeah, no for, matter what because they're already right. stretched out. But since up the other day closer to his scrotum or his his flank or whatever you want to call it was where the swelling was that we were originally concerned about and that is way down. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get him turned out. Please like and subscribe. And uh, we're going to try to get some more homesteading videos out. We've had more fishing and stuff like that than homesteading. But just trying to spend time with the kids and have fun. While it's summertime. Yeah. And it's almost, now it's pretty much too hot to even have fun. The water's 90 degrees. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.